Welcome to the class of microwave and radar engineering. This is code number is subject code is KEC074 and this is lecture number 13. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the working of the isolator and the micro, uh, that is a one of the microwave devices. Now, in the today's lecture, we will discuss a um, circulator that is also one of the microwave devices. A circulator, microwave circulator is what? is a multi-port waveguide junction in which a wave can flow in can only from nth to nth port to n plus oneth port in one direction means it will work only in one direction whether it is uh, generally it is what anti-clockwise although there is no restriction in number of ports three ports and four ports microwave circulator is most common number of ports can be any one uh, uh, minimum three and it can be up to n number of times but generally we use the three port and the four port four port microwave circulator now next one is the it is it is having a non it is a non reciprocal device or you can say it is it is having a property of non reciprocal property now second one it has a peculiar property that each terminal is connected to only only next to the clockwise terminal it means let's say if i say if i say this is a circulator and this circulator is having three port you can say this circulator is having three port port number 1 port number 2 and port number 3 this port when i'm inserting any input to this port the output will be will get from port number 2 and no output will be from port number 3 so each terminal is connected to only to the next clockwise terminal or anti clockwise terminal clear so here it direction is what clockwise direction and it can be a anti clockwise direction that depends on the inner diagram internal circuit now this circulator is also known as what hybrid ring the here we am sh i am showing what four port circulator and the four arms or ports are connected in the form of angular ring at proper intervals by means of a series or parallel junction now in this also you will see that if i am giving input from port number one input from port number 1 output will be obtained at port number 2 and if i am providing the input at port number 2 if i am providing if i am providing input at port number 1 port number 2 then output will be at port number 3 and for the if i say this is a four port circulator then i can say if input is provided at port number 3 then output will be obtained at port number 4 and now the input if i say the this is a four port circulator if i am providing input at port number 4 the output will be obtained at port number 1 it means like this one clear okay. Port number 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and then 4 to 3 and no output, no output at other ports respectively, clear? Now this circulator is also known as a hybrid ring and this in I am showing here this is a hybrid ring or this is a four port circulator. You will see this is a four port circulator or this one is a four port circulator. The four port are connected in the form of angular ring at a proper interval by means of or series or in parallel junctions. 
the hybrid ring has four ports each plays each plays one quarter wavelength away from each other each is distance from each port is lambda by 4 lambda by 4 and lambda by 4 and the distance between the port 1 and port 4 will be what greater than lambda by 4 the bottom half of the ring that means this one is 3 quarter wavelength in length means this one is having a length of what 3 by 4 of lambda clear it has a characteristic similarity that is similar to what hybrid t compared to the magic tree it has an advantage of being easy to realize in plane technology such as micro strip line or strip line this hybrid ring is also known as what rat race ring you can see this is also known as the rat race sorry this one is not a circulator uh, this one is the hybrid ring this is one is not a circulator so now working of the hybrid ring is such that when a power is applied to the fed into port number one it splits into port number two and four but it will not appear at port number three means if i am saying the input is applied at port number one the output will be obtained at port number two and four but no output will be obtained at port number three at port number three output will be what zero and at port number two and port number four i will will be the power will be separated into port number two and here yeah, four because the difference of the shift of wave traveling in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction is what 180 degree because it is on lambda by four there and this is having what three lambda by four overall difference between this phase difference that is equal to lambda by two that is 180 degree therefore the waves are cancelled at port number three okay so similarly similarly if the wave is provided at port provided at port number three now the wave is equally divided into port number two and four now if i am providing the input at port number three the same wave will be split into what port number two and port number four clearly now similarly if i am providing the input at port number two the wave is get split into what port number one and your port number one and your port number three and port at port number four output will be what zero clear so that means if i want to draw the derivation of s matrix so there will be two uh, four port four cross four matrix it is s equal to what s11 s12 s13 s14 s21 s22 s23 s24 this will be a square matrix okay now <coughs> If I am providing the input at port number 1, if I am providing the input at port number 1, output at port number 3 is equal to 0, you know that if I am providing input at port number 1, output will be at 3 will be 0, means S31 equal to what? 0, similarly S13 will also be what? 0, clear? Now next one, if I am providing the input at port number 2, output at port number 4 will be 0. If I am providing at input at port number 2, output at port number 4 will be what? 0. That means, therefore, S2, S24 will also be what equal to 0. Now, see, if all ports are perfectly matched, S11, S22, and S33, and S44 are all are equal to 0. Just put this value here. These all are equal to 0. S24 equal to 0, S42 equal to 0, and S130 and S31 equal to 0. Means this the S matrix of hybrid ring will be of this one. Clear? Now, <coughs> the circulator. Now, we will continue with the circulator. In between, we have I have discussed the hybrid ring and the working of the hybrid ring and the derivation of S matrix of hybrid ring. Now, and this will continue with the circulator. A microwave circulator is a multiplot device in which the wave can only flow from only nth port to n plus 1 port. Means n to n1. Means 1 
output is input at 1, output will be obtained at 2. Now, if input at port number 2, output will be obtained at port number 3. If this if this input at port number 2, port number 3, output will be obtained at port number 4. And if input port number 4, output will be obtained at what? Port number 1. Clear? So, derivation of uh, S matrix, uh, scattering matrix of ideal circulator will be what? S equal to as we know that input is provided port number 1, output will be obtained at port number 2, clear, means S21 will be there, but S12 is not, is equal to what, 0, because if input is provided port number 2, output at port number 1 will be what, 0. Similarly, if input is, it is provided at port number 2, output will be obtained at port number 3, clear, but S23 will be equal to what? 0. Clear? Now, similarly, if input has provided port number 1, output will be obtained at port number 1. But what? S13 is equal to 0. Or S31 is equal to 0. Therefore, there will be existence of S13, S32 and S21. S13, S31 and S32. And all other ports will be what? All other values of ports will be what? 0. Clear? And I, for the ideal circulator, all ports are perfectly matched. That is S11 equal to 0, S22 is equal to 0, and S33 equal to 0. Clearly? Now, similarly for the 4 port ideal circulator, in the 4 port ideal circulator, you know that this one, that means if I am saying S13, 1 is provided at port number 2, that will be equal to 1, this will be existence, okay. Similarly, at port, input is provided at port number 2, this one will be exist, input at port number 3, output port number 4 will be exist and input at port number 4, output port number 1, they are are exist these all values will be 1 similarly but but what s12 will be equal to 0 s23 equal to 0 s434 equal to 0 s41 equal to 0 and all other ideal for the ideal circulators all ports are map perfectly mapped to each other that means s11 equal to 0 s22 equal to 0 Therefore, this one matrix will be obtained. Now, what are the applications of circulator as a duplexer? Circulator application is as a duplexer. It can work as a duplexer for the radar antenna. What is duplexer? Means the same device can be used as a transmitter and the and the receiver. Clear? So that is the duplexer. Means duplexer is the uh, duplexer is the antenna in which can be used for transmission and the reception at the same time. Clear? So, you will see here this circulator can be used in, can be used as duplexer for the radar antenna. Now, see how this one, because let us say if this is a three port circulator and three port circulator, this one, one port is connected to what? Transmitter and third port is connected to receiver and fourth is connected to what? Antenna. Now, if input is provided port number 1, that is transmitter, transmitter is providing the RF signal to antenna, uh, electrical signal to antenna, clear? This signal will go what? Goes to the what? Port number 1 to only port number 2, but it, this signal will not move to the port number 3. So, it will isolate the receiver section from the transmitter clear now now if i say the receive antenna is receiving some signal 
and it automatically will what reaches to the port number three, but it will not reach to the port number one. So it will not disturb the source. Therefore, RF circulator is within a radar system or radio communication wave transmitting receiver system use a common antenna. Clear? Now, <coughs> now you will see that. Therefore, antenna received signal will not will circulate to the receiver. In this way, the re receiver is isolated from the transmitter, and but antenna has the power from transmitter and passes the signal to the receiver without the mechanical switching. Similarly, now see this circulator can also be used as a RF circulator. Now you see there how is it RF as a RF circulator. Now let's say if I say this is a three port circulator and this port number one is connected to the transmitter or you can say signal source and port number two is connected to matching load, poor matching load and this is port number three which is a resistive load to provide the matching for the port number three and dissipate the reflected power. So, how it is can be used as a RF circulator. Now see, the transmitted power is passed from port number 1 to port number 2 and travels to the antenna. This signal is passed to the port number 2. Clear? Now if any reflected power returns from this poor matching load, clear? And when this power is returning some poor matching load, it will what? Goes to the what? Resistive load to provide the match. Therefore, pass from the port number 2 to port number 3, it can be dissipated in the load. In this way, RF power amplifier will be able to operate with a high feeder VSWR, but being protected by the circulator acting as a RF isolator. You will see that. Now, see similarly. Let's say this is a signal source. If this one is a two port device, the signal source what will be providing the signal to the matching circuit. If this matching circuit is not impedance match, it will what give reflection, it will give reflection and this reflection may cause what hindrance to the signal source. So that is why we have used in between what circulator. Now I am using in between circulator which input is provided from signal source to this matching circuit. If the matching circuit is not properly matched, it will give reflected voltage, but the reflected voltage will not directly go to what signal source. It will move to the port number 3 and at port number 3 there will be what impedance matching circuit or resistive load to provide the matching for port number 3. That is why it can be used, this circulator can be used as a RF isolator which provides, which provides the isolation between the poor matching circuit and the signal source. Now next one is the application for circulator is was, it is in, can be used in a tunnel diode amplifier circuit. Now how it can be used in a tunnel diode amplifier circuit you will see here. Here I am using the four port circulator. Port number one is connected to what input. Port number two is connected to tunnel diode module, tunnel diode circuit and port number three is what output and port number four is matching circuit. Now see if I am if I want to amplify some signal clear the signal which is to be amplified is giving to port number 1. Now this signal will reaches to port number 2 or tunnel diode circuit. Tunnel after amplifying the signal from tunneling diode it will what get provided output uh, from provide its amplified signal into the circulator and this circulator this signal will go to what? output section which is the amplified which will get to the amplified output which will get what 
amplified output. But if there is some mismatching, if the output is not mismatched with this circuit, the it will what reflected voltage will goes to the matching circuit, but it will not go to the input device, input circuit. Therefore, it also provide the isolation between the input and the output. Clear? Therefore, used to gain the additional isolation between the input and the output. Clear? Now, what are the specifications for RF circulator and isolators? We always use, we always want to know before using the RF circulators, we should know the frequency. It can operate between the frequency up to 750 megahertz to 20 gigahertz and further there are also some researchers are going to provide it to provide the, to use the uh, circulator up to 100 gigahertz. Now, next one is the impedance. This impedance matching should be there. Insertion loss. No losses between port number 1 to port number 2 or port number 2 to port number 3. Insertion loss should be very low. Isolation. It should provide the isolation between the, in the reverse flow direction. Means, if it is going in the clockwise direction, isolation should be in the anti-clockwise direction. Clear? Power handling should be always be uh, <coughs> consider for RF circulator particularly important where high power levels are used. Next connectors for the high power uh, for the low power singles SMA connector will be used or and N type SMA connector is used for the low power and N type collector is used for the high power levels. The book I have referred for preparing the slide that is micro device and circuits and other books and also thank you